All right, today I'm going to show you how to move an application or a program from one PC to the next um, without uh, an installation disk. Um, so um, what we're going to need is we're going to need a flash drive for that, okay? And we're going to go through the steps on what you need to do to be able to accomplish that. Okay, so uh, the first thing you want to do is go to start there and um, and the uh, program that I wanted to move from this laptop to my new laptop is Intelli Studio. It's a uh, video editing uh, software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find Intelli Studio. It's right here on the top. So I'm going to right click uh, on that one until I see a drop down box. Then I'm going to more. I go to more and go to open file location. Okay. There you go. All right. So we're here, and all the components are not on this folder. So you might want you might what you want to do next is you're gonna point your pointer to Intelli Studio again. Right click. Here. You're gonna right click and wait for the drop down box and go to fo uh, open file location again. All right. And another window opens up which contains all the components of Intelli Studio. So what you want to do is, uh, hold on, let me put this camera down so I can use both my hands. Uh, okay. So what you want to do is put your USB flash drive on the USB port. And then what you want to do next is highlight all of these components of the um, of Intelli Studio. So I go down and get each one of them and make sure I got them all highlighted. And then I'll go and find my flash drive. and it's on drive F and on, in my flash drives there are several albums uh, as, um, folders that are empty and so I want to put all of these components into one of these folders one of the one of the folders so they're all together and not mixed with all the other stuff that are in the flash drive so I'm just gonna drag this down to one of my empty folders in my flash drive and it's gonna start transferring the file and we wait for it okay now that it's completed we can now close this window okay and we go and take our flash drive let's go to the uh, the new computer where I want to install this new uh, this the software 
that's in this flash drive right now. So I'm going to put this flash drive onto the USB port of this computer. And now, after putting your flash drive on the USB port, you want to open up your Explorer window. So we go out right here and double click on your folders. There they are. And you try to look for the flash drive. There it is. Um, and click the folder and you see all the components are in there okay so what I want to do is I want to transfer all these components into a folder that I'm going to create in the programs folder which is on C disk so I'm going to click on I'm going to click on the C disk right here. Okay. Then I go to program files right here. Uh, what I want to do is right click on that one and then click on new so I can create a folder destination. And there you go. At the bottom it says I'm going to change the name to in tally studio and there you go okay and there's my newly created folder so now I wanna go and find that flash drive again where where all the components are it's right here highlight the folder Okay, let me put this down so I can use both my hands to show you how it's done. Okay, and zoom in a little bit here. There. Okay, so click check on this one with this new computer. You don't have to highlight it like the old one click check and it selects all of the components that I want to transfer so I just drag and drop this components to the new folder under program files which I named Intelli so I'm gonna go and take all of that and transfer it to Intelli Okay, continue. And there you go, all the files have been transferred into that new program on the, the program files. What I want to do is I'm going to go click in tally. There you go. And then I'm going to try to. Um, create a shortcut okay and it says your windows can't create a shortcut here do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead yes and there goes our shortcut has been created right there okay so I want to pin this shortcut also I want to pin this shortcut on the uh, the start. I mean, on my taskbar. So I just click that, and the shortcut also appears right here at the bottom of the computer. So now that I we have completed all that, we're going to test the software. So what we want to do is we double click. 
our shortcut icon right here on our desktop. And wait. And there you go. Okay. There's our software loading. Um, and uh, that's how you do it. All right. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.